Hello everyone and welcome to a new first taste for the channel where today we're going to be checking out Necronator Dead Wrong. Now if the name seems a little bit familiar to you then uh, it is a game developed by uh, Toge, I, I, I think it's Toge, maybe Toge Studios and uh, I have played one of the other games and they all seem to follow a kind of uh, similar naming theme. It was uh, Infectronator I played uh, last from them on the channel and uh, yeah I, I imagine all of their games are going to have that nature somewhere in the name. Now, Necronator Dead Wrong, as the Steam page describes, is a comedic micro RTS game with a deck building twist. Now, in practice, this means it's effectively the love child of Final Fantasy Tactics and Slay the Spire. Uh, <laughs> Uh, there may be other errant genes in there, a few mutations here and there, maybe maybe a possession or two. But effectively, this is kind of how it plays out. Well, if Final Fantasy Tactics was a uh, tower defense or, or a, a reverse tower defense, a, a tower attack, one could say. Okay, it's going to be much easier if I show you, as with everything. But before we jump into the game proper, I do want to point out that this is an early access title. It is available on Steam right now for, I think, um, around £13, converting to your own currency as necessary. But there is currently a, uh, a discount on Steam, so uh, you might need to uh, double check those prices before making a purchase. Now, with that all said and done, let's jump into the game, shall we? Now, there are three game slots, and as you can see, I've got a little bit of uh, level progress. There seems to be a bit of meta progress, a la Slay the Spire. Every time you uh, play through a run, you accumulate experience, and even when you die, that experience goes to uh, something. I'm not really sure where that plays out. Again, there are, uh, un well, rather locked or unlockable characters as well. Perhaps the experience plays into that. We're already level two with this character. Uh, the Death Knight, formerly a living knight on a quest for the Holy Grail. Currently an undead knight on a quest for the unholy grill. I mean, that seems to make sense. You'll never meet a cursed crusader more wide-eyed with wonder, or a student of sacrilegious scripture more eager to learn. For some people, death has the odd tendency to make life more enjoyable. I mean, you know, that, that seems pretty cool. Now, you can start with different uh, decks as a starter. This one is the Steel and Bones deck, so we've got a lot of heavy armor, some archers, and some basic, uh, you know, swords people not quite as heavily armored there a lot of beta stuff all over the place so there are going to be lots of things that will be changing as the game continues to develop and they get uh, a bit more feedback on what works what doesn't work we've got the fresh meat deck and we've got a brute Ooh, we've got two brutes okay that's interesting and we've got target friendly oh some heals nice squads in hand plus 25 percent attack squads in hand plus 50 percent hp that's actually pretty cool so that would affect the the squads that you haven't yet deployed Deployed, I guess. Uh, steel and bones, all that. Hmm, what have we got? So this one's uh, targets friendly. So this is units in play already. Already, I think we're actually going to go with the fresh meat. This is the one that I haven't uh, played with yet. Hellforged armaments give your units plus twenty-five percent attack and minus ten percent move speed. Well, I mean, I kind of like move speed. I'm going to be perfectly honest. Uh, True bats conquest. The time is now. Let's embark on the epic conquest to destroy the living. I mean, do you really need to destroy them? Can't we just, you know, I don't know live in harmony or, or, you know, if needs must, farm them? You opened a letter and it says, Congratulations, you've just graduated from the Undead Academy. As a freshly certified villain, prepare to embark upon your very own quest for world conquest. The Academy hereby presents you with the patented Soul Spawn Crystal. Please attach it to your arm and the crystal will permanently bind itself to your life force. No substitutions or refunds. That's... Uh, can I get it? Can I attach it to a minion's arm instead? Now, if you have played Slay the Spire before, you'll probably be a little bit familiar with what we're looking at here. We go all the way up to uh, a boss encounter right at the very top. Now, my uh, first and only playthrough of this while I was testing, I got about midway up the tower, or maybe about, uh, maybe a little bit past midway. But uh, you have your random encounters, can be anything, can be, um, or at least so far, it's some sort of uh, encounter where you make a choice and get different sorts of rewards. You've got battles, you've got rest sites where you can do uh, a few things, you've got shops, uh, you've got mini bosses around these areas, and so on 
so forth as you, as you go along. So very, very familiar to anyone who has uh, checked out Selena's Spire. Right, let's go ahead and find out what we've got to do first. True bats flock across the sky, one lands beside you, perching on a dead tree. Impressive, says the true bat. You could be the next Necronator. You know about the Necronator, right? The true bat looks at you. Greatest Dark Lord to ever terrorize the world. He lost his power a hundred years ago. Ring any bells? Anyway, luckily for you, I know how to reclaim it. And I'm currently accepting work as a consultant for aspiring tyrants. What? Don't you think I'm trustworthy? Just to show you I'm on your side, I'll give you a gift. Go ahead, pick one. So, we can either draft a squad, gain a relic, a mana drive engine, gain plus 200% mana regen when you have 10 mana or less. Ooh. That sounds pretty cool. Or 200 souls. Souls are basically the currency. I'm going to go for the uh, relic, please and thank you. Yes, please. Um, excellent choice, says the true bat. Since you accepted my gift, that makes us partners. I always give the best advice. You won't regret listening to me. Now, if you want to reclaim the Necronator's power, first you've got to conquer a few towns. Defeat an army or two, you know, just to prove you're worthy. I'm sure an up-and-coming scourge to humankind like you can handle it. I mean, I certainly hope so. Can I have a look at my inventory? Uh, can I have a look at my relics? There we go. So the mana drive engine, basically you accumulate mana and that's how you play the cards into the uh, the play field. And so this is going to just give us a little bit of a boost whenever we're particularly low on mana, which is actually quite nice. Uh, right, well it doesn't really matter where we go, so we'll just pick at random. There doesn't seem to be any way to figure out what's ahead of you. There may be relics for that though, I don't know. Push forward, says the Chubat. Don't doubt yourself. Then the road to the temple will open. It can sense pure intentions. Pure evil intentions are good enough in your case slaughter more enemies showcase your purity <laughs> i like this true bet dark avac would certainly approve i should really get myself a cup of coffee while playing this game my lord this is not a game of tea no 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 all right as you can see very very uh, final fantasy ta uh, tactics-esque uh visuals here there we go start the battle you can rotate the screen but it only rotates in uh, 90 degree um positions and this is our atta attack path it is a reverse tower defense. The enemy have the towers, and they will launch minions and creeps to try and destroy our crystal and, and uh, repel our invaders. Uh, hopefully, that won't be happening. Squads in hand plus 50 HP. Squads in hand. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play 15. Sure. Let's get that. Ooh, I really want you. How long? Oh, it's going to take us way too long to get there. Um, sure. Let's grab that, and then we're going to pop a melee unit. There we go. Get out there with your massive buffs. There we go. Perfect. Look at those bonuses we've got there. Nice. I like it. Uh, those guys are going to trample our hopes and dreams, though. So let's get another skeleton unit out there to help them. Go, go, go. Now, if I can get 10, then I can drop a heal. Uh, too late. They, they're dead. They're dead, though, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like we've done okay there, though. Uh, do I need to heal? Uh, they're up against archers. Or maybe I should actually. Bump. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit too little and too late. Now, soldiers are our tanky ones. You don't have as many buffs, so I want to launch you as soon as I can. Go, go, go. And you have some buffs, at least. Uh, oh, actually, no, you have quite a few buffs. Now, as they get close to our tower, our tower will start launching attacks against the enemy. Let's get you a bit of a heal there. Don't want to waste those unit squads in hand, plus 25%. Oh, I wonder if that stacks. Could we build up a mega unit over time? And then just unleash it, like some some undead Godzilla to just rain havoc down upon the enemy. I like this idea. Uh, and it's worth testing, so... Womp. Oh, it does. My lord. Uh, you need a bit of a heal there. Womp. There we go. I'm spending all my mana on just one group. This is not the best way. Now, they are going to uh, have a bit of issue over here, but that's just the way we're going to have to play it. Uh, they will slowly break this down and eventually haunt it. I'm going to see if I can save up for the 60, honestly. Because I want this brute. Look at the damage. Not quite as much as the uh, soldiers, but look at the health. It's crazy sauce. Oh, well, actually, maybe maybe you would be decent enough to launch. Let's wait until we go to 100, because then I can launch the soldiers and the brute. And they both move as fast, so they'd be... Oh, fantastic. We managed to capture the town. Now, as far as I'm aware, they never take it back. So, uh, womp, womp. Let's get you guys out there. Now, as soon as I can, I will launch the skeleton group. Because they will catch up, because they move twice as fast. So let's get you out there as well. Look at that. The Brute is going to absolutely decimate these guys. Because the Brute has a, an attack that hits everything, whereas I, I believe all of the others have to specifically target something. I would like my uh, squads in hand. Yeah, yeah, both of those. Let's continue to uh, 
double down on all these bonuses. Wow, you're you're like a, a mini brute now. In fact, you're better than a brute in some ways. Hmm. We'll wait for another 100. We'll unleash a mighty uh, mighty battle group. Uh, it'll be these two, I think, because you've had more bonuses than the others. So you go ahead, you as well. There we go. No more particular bonuses here, but that's fine. I think we've got this one in hand. Our group should be able to absolutely destroy this cast. And we've got another follow-up we've got behind as well. Uh, if we save up for 80, then I can unleash all three of these. And at this point, I think that's probably a little bit more useful. Look at the Brute. I think the Brute may actually have um, some better armor. We can find out a bit more information about them as we go. Let's get all of you out there. And I would also like to heal my Brute. There we go. Perfect. And I'll uh, heal my Brute again in a moment. There we are, one, and soon the backup is there. They're really not going to be able to do much against this kind of uh, overwhelming force. Now, the until enemy reinforcement is something you absolutely need to be paying attention to. If that gets up to, uh, if that fully counts down, then this place just starts. Why is that not giving me bonuses? Hmm. This starts just pumping out units. There's basically no cooldown on its spawns. Now, you might be able to wear that a tiny amount of that. If you've already brought it pretty close and you've got a decent army out there, you might be able to still win. But it's going to overwhelm you. It's a war of attrition. You cannot win on any kind of uh, any kind of um, scale in time. You don't want to be, be stuck there. Now, we could get some money or we could get a draft a card. Have a look. Um, perk, overdrawn. Plus 25% mana regeneration. Okay, that's not too bad. And you exhaust the car then. Target's friendly, plus three armor, minus 25% move speed. Maybe. Next card, plus 50% mana cost, and it's played twice. Oh. Now, if we used our particularly heavily uh, built up unit, that would be amazing. But let me just check in my deck a little bit. Can we get some uh, extra information? Oh, stun attack. Attacks apply stun to the target. Well, that is why you're a little bit better then. Okay, that's uh, actually pretty cool. But is there something I have to do to activate these relics? I wonder. Because hmm. I didn't didn't notice my previous relic being active, but then my mana was probably already over 10, so this may have shut down. I'll pay a little bit closer attention. I do apologize for not being, uh, being on the ball with that one. Now, I can upgrade a card or I can uh, restore a part of uh, Portal HP. Portal HP is fine, so we're going to upgrade. Now, let's have a look. If we have a look at the details, um, it's common, mana 15, blah, blah, blah. We get uh, various information there. I could upgrade it to be a deadly battle cry. Squads in hand plus 25% attack and 25% attack speed. Or squads in hand plus 50% attack. Mm, I mean, that, that's that's an interesting one. Can I go back? Or have I, have I, have I absolutely confirmed? Ah. That's not strictly what I wanted to do. I wish it was a back button here. I guess you don't get to have a look at uh, what what you could do. All right. Well, fair enough. We've we've made a choice. It's all for for science ultimately. Um, attack speed. I, I quite like that one. So deadly battle cry there. There we go. And there we are. That is our card upgraded. But in the future, I, I will probably try to upgrade my units more. But, uh, you know, having a deadly battle cry is actually pretty cool. This upgraded. I wonder if there's a way that I can see what it would... Can I see what, how it would upgrade? Because that is something I very much like to do with uh, with Slay the Spire, is plan my upgrades while ahead of time. Now, do we want to go to the shop? We haven't got very many souls. You can buy new units at the shop if you uh, so choose. Let's go up this way and fight a mini boss. Well, then we could go to a shop. That seems like a good path for me. Now, there's no easy way for me to uh, highlight certain things along the path. That would be a lovely quality of of uh, life improvement where I could just like say, oh yeah, I want to see all of the shops along the path. And then I could scroll up the path and I make it much easier for me to plan the correct route. There is one last opportunity at shop all the way over there. Now, the question is, are we going to get there if I don't visit a shop sooner? And that is a fair question. Going this route, I'll hit a couple of rest sites. And then I'll hit the shop. You know what? We're going to forego this shop to hit more rest sites, upgrade our cards a little bit more, and then uh, hit the shop ultimately, if we even get there, given the uh, time we have left for the recording. What is it with dwarves and mountains? Asks, asks the Chubet. 
can they live somewhere easier to reach, like a nice level field of flowers? Fight your way through this next horde and keep climbing. I'll be your moral support. Or I really prefer to be my artillery support, for example. I could just throw you and you'd explode on impact. Uh, okay, so nice, uh, simple path up here. We've got a little fort over there. It's got a, some sort of clock tower. I like that. Yeah, it's very pretty, very pretty. Okay, now uh, let's see. Uh, is it active? Ah, yes, it is absolutely active. So we're getting a little bit of extra mana, or it's happening a little bit faster right now. Gain plus 200% mana regen when you have 10 mana. Now, one thing I didn't cover in the the last... Oh, there we go. Uh, is that working the wrong way? Because it looks like it's doubled after I... Mm, I think that might be a bug, but it's fine. Uh, double cast, fomp. Come on, we need that 30. And one. Let's get two groups. Go for it. Destroy the everything, please. Also have a heal. There we go. Deadly battle cry and fortify. Nice. This uh, little group may actually be enough to take this down for now. But I, I actually think that that might be working the wrong way around. I mean, I'm not against it. <laughs> I'll be honest, that works better for me. <laughs> yes, it does look like it's actually working the other way around. Which is probably why I didn't didn't quite notice what was going on before uh right we've got 40 there let's see if we can get up to 55 while we've got the double um gen there and then we'll pop this there we go and you guys get out there there we are Ooh, they're throwing axes at my portal i disapprove quite a lot actually massively disapprove but this this relic actually works exactly the opposite way uh, which is a bit of a shame but oh well uh go forth my soldiers take to the town for me please and thank you Got another skeleton group there. I Well, we can already cast that and get a skeleton group, so that's good. Got it down to half health. That's good. And these arrows, well, they will destroy my unit before we can uh, get through there, but that's fine. I think I'm going to go for the Brute for that beautiful, beautiful stun effect. Uh, so we're going to have to save up. That being said, I could get two groups here. Hmm. That's actually more useful to me right now. Go forth. Wipe out the everything, and I've got a heal just waiting for you, and I'm going to proc it about... Oh, wait for it, wait for it, well done, very well done. I am going to use it there though, go ahead. It does slow down time a little bit when you've got a spell ready, which gives you uh, opportunity to properly aim, which I find quite useful. There we go, haunted, and now we've got this as well, so is that relic affecting both? Doesn't appear to be, but that's fine. But now that's okay. Let's rock and invigorate. Let's keep you guys going. There we go. Deadly battle cry. Very nice. Fortify as well. Very, very nice. Double cast. Now, this would cost us 90, but I am 100% on board with that. Come on. Which one are we going to go for? We're going to go for you. And let's get a double brute spawn. Ah, oh, beautiful. I approve, but now we've slowed down our, our mana regen again. Now, I don't know if your portal naturally heals at all, but eh, maybe. Now, what would be wonderful? I wonder if our double cast card upgrades to the point that it triple casts things for just a uh, hundred percent more, or, or maybe still the same 50 percent more, or the next two things you cast get double cast. Now, that would be the ideal one for me, I think. Right, that's the brute, and we want the best of our swordsmen. Let's get you out there. Double cast again. I like it. I very much like it. Next card, plus 50% mana cost, and it's played twice. I wonder if that would work on a double heal. Hmm. That would be an interesting one, but ooh, regardless, we're going to get that. Ooh. Well, it will actually work on other cards. Well, it doesn't work on this. Well, maybe it just lands twice, but uh, sure. Let's get all of our units double fortified. I like it. Not that we really needed it. We uh, did pretty well there. So I'm liking these utility cards. Actually, I'm liking those a lot. Right, there we go. Let's have a look at our victory. What did we earn? Uh, draft another card. Now we can get target's enemy, 50 damage, 0 0.5 second stun, small area. I wonder if the double on this would make it 100 damage and a 1 second stun and a large area. You never know. Uh, melee unit armor breaker. Attacks apply minus armor to the target. Uh, moderate health. Uh, it's a very fast unit though. Mm, very fast unit indeed. Okay. Uh, attack speed 200, critical. Uh, you got a lot of information here. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, sure, we're going to take you. And... The souls as well, please and thank you. Now, our portal HP is a little bit lower now. Right, there's only one institution more vile, more insidious, more corrupt than the Undead Academy, and that's the Merchant's Guild. Oh my lord, those 
bloody merchants. Naturally, you have a great respect for them. Well, I mean, uh, those wonderful, uh, uh, righteous merchants. They'll sell anything to anyone, no questions asked. Uh, purchase a relic. Minus 100 souls. Gain a random, uncommon relic. Or purchase armaments. Hmm. Do I get to pick the squad? I think I'd like the relic. Always go for the relics. Screaming best plate. Give your units plus 8% attack and plus 8% HP. I approve. Don't ask where they got the goods. They won't ask where you got the the funds. Uh, that's, that seems fair. That's, that's actually quite, quite fair, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and naturally upgrade. Now then, we can't upgrade this one. It is locked. So maybe we can only do that once. I would like to upgrade one of my brutes. I think. Oh, the, no, the, the soldiers are a, a pretty solid idea as well. They do a good bit of damage, and they are reasonably fast, too, actually. Oh, it's because uh, of... Hmm. Yeah, they, I don't remember seeing the 2.5 before, but... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to upgrade a soldier. Right, we can have a tough soldier, who will gain uh, a bit more HP, and a slightly better critical chance, or a deadly soldier, who will have a decent chunk of attack... Each, each one of them gets that attack, so I guess this is uh, overall um, the whole uh, the combination of all units in the squad, perhaps. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Um, hmm. It's only a slight bonus to the damage. The attack speed is nice, though. But I think I want to make him more tanky. So, yeah, tough soldiers for me. There we are. Jump. Nice. Now, that's only one of my soldier cars, but now we are on towards a mini boss, and we want to go to the other rest site as well. Get some more souls. My lord. Upstart, says Lord Balderdash. Villain, too weak to stand the cold. Not like me, I love the cold. This isn't even cold. I'm sweating. I'm hot. Don't you dare say I'm cold. I'll teach you what it means to really freeze. I mean, you know, the snot and the sneezing kind of... You know what, fine. Sure, you know, if you... If, if you you are if it means that much to you to uh be able to handle the cold then you go ahead buddy oh right now this is one of the first uh, levels where we can use the sign the sign allows us to change the direction of our attacks like so it's a bit of a cool down on it but you know, we can uh either way we're gonna have to fight this fort but uh that's actually pretty cool all right we've got a regular brute and a demon fiend okay it's going to take us a little while to get everything together. Signpost. Oh, can I activate the signpost from there? No, I can't. That's a bit of a shame. That's fine, though. Uh, sheep. Oh, that's just, that's just a sly move, game. You know I don't want to have to murder sheep. Oh, you scallywag. Trust the goody two-shoes to use underhanded tactics like this, my lord. All right, brute. Just make it quick and painless if you can. All uh, right. Did they drop my brute's armor? I think they may. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Uh, we've got a little soldier group. And we've got our axe throws over there. Okay. Uh, let's get some skeleton back up there for our brute. Uh, I can drop a heal when the time comes. Let's get you out there. There we go. Deadly battle cry. I, I'm going to use up my, uh, my invigorate before then, if I can, just to clean up some more cards. There we go. Oh, well, we better take that. That's pretty shame. But there we are. I can use Deadly Battlecry on the Tough Soldiers, which is ultimately what I was hoping for. Uh, that being said, this doesn't look great for us, I'll be honest with you. I could drop another Invigorate, perhaps, or... Let's just try and save up. But with the, the way our relics work, it's better for me to uh, save and then use... Should we just tank a little bit of damage? I guess we could. I just need up to 55. How much damage are they going to do? Ooh, they are choking their damage down, actually. Go forth. Protect me. Thank you. Get out there fast. Oh, never mind. Our tower's done most of the work. Uh, okay, but we did take a, a bit of a chunky bit of damage here. Didn't, didn't like that. No, no, no. Double cast. Uh, for squads in hand, plus 50%. Um, hmm. I thought that previously that was 25. Ah, uh, maybe I miss, missed the uh, way that that was going to work. We can redraw for a bit of cash if we really want to, but I don't particularly care to right now. Right, I do want the double cast on the brute, though, if we can. Mm, this is getting a little bit rough. Head on out. There we go. Hopefully you can just get through the uh, the sheet there. It looks like they operate much like my demons do, in that they reduce the armor. I could have a double cast on a soldier. Two soldiers is a pretty strong group. 
But we're almost at 75. We'll probably take a little bit of damage, but I think it's okay to tank it. But we really do need to get a move on now. At, uh... Oh, I totally miscalculated that, because that increased the cost quite a lot. Get, get the uh, double soldiers out. Actually, armor breakers as well. But uh, we do need to get over there quickly. I'm a little bit concerned about how long this has taken. We haven't even got the first rest site yet, which is uh, quite a worry. But I massively miscalculated. I was, uh... I wasn't accounting for the extra 50% cost for casting the boots of that. That was very bad of me. Right, the way. Pop that now. Yeah, battle cry as well. Let's uh, grab that. Now, we don't have the tough soldiers with all of this bonus damage, but that brute looks absolutely amazing. Let's get you into the playing field. Let's drop a heal. And um, no, we don't need another heal. Can I? Oh, it looks like I have to play it once I've uh, got it going. That's fine, though. Uh, let's get those tough soldiers out there. And they should be able to get through there fairly easily. And we're going to have this group head this way to try and uh, spread the damage to either side of this fort. We haven't got long, though, to take it. So we really do need to get a move on with that. Right, this uh, brute is going to take a little while to get there. In that time, I think two groups of skeleton soldiers. And then we're going to proc the double cast. And we're hopefully going to wait on the double brutes, I think. Because of that beautiful, beautiful stun. It looks like we should have this, though, once that group gets up there. But, ooh, that was, that, that was getting quite close. Far closer than I would like, if I'm perfectly honest. I could drop in a heal right now, just to keep things moving and keeping them, but I think we're good. There we go. Perfect. Not too bad at all. Right, let's see what we get. Now, that, of course, that was a mini-boss, so it was meant to be a little bit harder. I bet that battle warmed you up, says the Lord of Boulder Dash. Pathetic. Coward. Need a battle to warm yourself up. I lost because I didn't need the extra body heat. It's my choice not to feel my toes, or nose, or anything, actually. Okay, fair enough. Right, uh, rigid, Rigidium Steel Ball. I almost said balls there, and it would have almost made sense to me either way. Give your unit plus five armor. I approve. Uh, draft another card into my deck. Again, like um, Slay the Spire, you don't necessarily want your, car, your deck to get super... Uh, budget Invigorate. Oh, it only costs five mana. Okay. Uh, you don't want your deck to get super large. A Grunt. Lower health... Decent uh, damage enraged gain plus attack speed and plus move speed when HP is low, so we wouldn't necessarily want to heal you too aggressively All right well, Let's move on our portal took a wallop great amount of damage So we do need to spend that heal there. Hopefully this fight isn't gonna be too hard though Don't ask about the temple. We're trying to find says the true bet. They're all the same aren't they ancient curse surrounded by combat ready guardians That's all you need to know and you need to defeat the guardians obviously I mean, I mean, if they're cursed, aren't they like my peeps? Uh, are, they, are they not on our side? Would they would they not help us out? Look, there's a graveyard over there. Can't I just summon my peeps over there instead of all the way back here? This seems quite unfair, actually. I disapprove. Oh well. Uh, right, deadly battle cry and fortify already. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to be saving up for a little bit. We've got a bit of extra armor for our for our peeps, which I'm totally on board with. Ooh, a redraw is going to cost 40 there. Now it costs 20. Okay. Okay, maybe the cost just goes down a little bit over time. Uh, we're going to want to meet you head on if we can. Have I got enough time to get all of the money? Yeah, we do. Bump. Bump. There we are. Does this affect everyone at all times? Maybe it does. You know, I, I haven't really noticed that, but that's uh, actually pretty cool. Uh, let's get a double cast going, and maybe we'll be super lucky. No, we weren't super lucky, unfortunately. Uh, okay, well, uh, we'll get double soldiers for now, then, I think. That seems to be the, the best route to take. Uh, they're veering off the path a little bit to get into a bit of fisticuffs. That's fine, I understand. But we are going to need these soldiers, like, right now. So you go ahead. If... Well, maybe I could have waited a little bit, actually, just to make sure I was over that 10 mana so that we didn't have the uh, slowdown in our regeneration. 
But unfortunately for us, it looks like if... Well, actually, no. Our soldiers are going to stop to fight this, which is good for us. Very good for us, actually. Because it means it's going to hit both of these groups. But I do want to send out a little bit of backup there. So you get out there right away, please. Let's drop a heal. Well, actually... Yeah, no. There we go. Just wanted to make sure I got the best... Uh, best bang for buck there. We should be able to take this fairly easily. Ooh. You're probably... A pretty competent fighter if you're coming out in a group of one. Hmm. Which, is, you know, is not a group. Uh, hence the problem. I'm going to wait until 100 mana. I'm going to launch you two at the same time. Or close to 100 mana. You need a little bit of a, a head start. They've definitely got armor there. So we're going to launch you two. And then immediately launch you. There we go. Oh, you've got two, three? No, two, two peeps there. That's fine. Let's launch you as well. In fact, let's have that change direction. Drop down a heal. And we're already at their castle. Fantastic. This should meet quite a lot of their units. Making sure that I don't spend my mana so that uh, once I've made my choices that I'm down to less than 10 is a key with our current relic set. Though, again, it seems to... Uh, definitely seems to be uh, intended to be the other way around. Uh, draft the card. Ooh. Swift Demon Blade and Frost Nova targets enemies 50 damage, minus 50 attack speed, minus 50 move speed, and 10 second duration. That's not too bad. Quick cast. Next ca uh, card is minus 40 mana. I wonder if this was doubled to minus 80, in which case we'd get some mana from casting some of our units. But let's have a look at the, the Swift Demon Blade. Untargetable while not in combat. Oh, so you would move straight past towers. Unless you stop to fight them. I'm not really sure how useful this will be, but for the sake of finding out, let's let's grab you. Right then. I had hoped to get a lot more souls and also more upgrades, but I feel that restoring some of our portal's energy is more important here. Okay, time to visit a shop. Alright, I deal cards all day and night. Sometimes they give an awful fright. Sometimes they bring people to light. And sometimes, says Grimbone the Swindler, they increase an army's might. I'll deal you a card for the right price. I like you, you dapper man in fancy hat. Uh, Blood Rage, target's friendly, 10 damage, plus 50% move speed, plus 50% attack speed for 10 seconds. Or target enemy, 150 damage, 2 seconds stun. That's actually pretty good. Or we could get a Fortifying Brute. Okay, melee unit gives all squads in your hand plus 50% HP. Well, I absolutely think that I need you. I could get some other things, but I want to save my cash. Uh, let's not get too greedy now. Right, onwards to upgrade. Now, can I upgrade the fortifying brute? No. That is unfortunate. I had been very hopeful that we'd be able to do that. Oh, well. Um... At this point, I really just want to know. Double cast, can I upgrade you? Next card, plus 50% mana cast, and is played three times, but then I exhaust the card. Or overdraw, one card. Next card, plus 50% mana cost, and is played twice. Uh, overdraw. Um, draw, which can exceed your hand size. Resourceful double cast. So I guess I pull an extra card? Um, well... I mean, that is pretty cool, but I'd only get to use it once. How often are we actually using this, though, in battle? Not that often. Eh, you know what? I'm going to go for this one, though. I uh, I like the idea of seeing what Overdraw does. Does that actually just mean we're going to get an extra card or not? I don't know. All right, what's in this shop? Probably nothing that we can afford. So, you're from the Undead Academy, huh? Asked Krumbron the Swindler. What a wonderful name, by the way. I never graduated myself. They kicked me out for, you guessed it, cheating the cards. But now look who's running his own business. Interested in buying anything? I mean, yeah. Oh, it looks so good. Melee unit gives all squads in your hand plus 50 HP, but look at the giant shield. Demon mage, area attack, rain tree. Oh, I would love you in my, in my hand, but alas, I cannot get either of you. Right, onwards to another boss attack or mini boss. I'm still not cold, says Lord Balderdash from somewhere behind the text. In fact, I'm even warmer than last time we fought. Roasting! I don't need to go out inside. I've been standing out here for a week. You call this cold? You'll never survive the winter. Uh, I mean, okay. Fair enough. Let's see how this plays out. Uh, that looks like an interesting uh, rise. Okay. Uh, zoom right back. Uh, so, hmm... We've got, oh, we've got two 
Um, fort. Right, okay. It's the first time I've seen that. Uh, right. Well, once again, now that we're above the 15 mark, we can uh, take a little bit of time. Let's see what we're, we're having come at us right now. I'd like to send up soldiers if I can. But I need to wait until we're over 50 first. There we go. Go, soldiers. Uh, you can hold them there while they're getting fireballed, which is glorious. And uh, once we're over 30, I'm going to immediately launch some extra skelly bones back up for you. The swift demon blades, maybe. I just don't know if stealth is that useful for me. Um, I really don't know about that one, actually. But I suppose right now... Well, we're doing okay for the time being. I guess we can we can wait and find out. Now, the thing is, once I play you, do I do, do I lose the bonus for everyone in my hand? Because that would be... Well, I'm not going to mince words. It would kind of suck. I don't, well, I guess we're going to have to find out. We've got a little bit of a group there. Yeah, a bit of a worry, but shouldn't be too much of an issue for us, ultimately. Let's get you in play as well. Uh, tough soldiers, that would be very nice. Let's get everyone down there, please. We will find out what the uh, Swift Demon Blade can do in a moment. But let's get you in play. There we are. Now, resourceful double cast. I would like to use this. But I'm a little bit worried about our lack of units out there. So perhaps before we do, let's get you out there. Let's get an invigorate down on the group that we've got. There we go. Maybe get four to five first. We will see. Now, hopefully, you're in position where you'll clean up that group as well before you head on up. That's good. But I'm very worried about this. That's actually starting to look quite, quite dangerous for us. Quite dangerous. Uh, let's drop down the fortify. Let's drop, drop down the uh, double cast. Deadly battle cry. I mean, that's great, Maul, but uh, marvelous. We've managed to take that. We're going to swap direction. Uh, which do we want most? I would like to see the grunt in action, actually. Uh, looks like we can. And let's get you out there right now. And then immediately after, you as well. So you can soak up some of that armor down there if you're lucky. Uh, can I get everyone in this little bubble? I can. Perfect. Marvelous effect. Let's get that going. Right. Now what do we want? Uh, Swift Demon Blades, perhaps? Um, sure, let's get some Swift Demon Blades out there. Uh, we're actually not doing too badly. I was really worried about that timer. But we absolutely walloped them with the uh, use of our utility cards there. Really nice. I'm very, very pleased with that. Now that you won, you probably want to burn down the castle, says Lord Balderdash, because you're freezing. You need the heat. Go ahead. Warm your hands by some puny fire. I prefer when my fingers turn blue. <laughs> you do you, bro. Uh, ancient engraved ring. Squads cost 20 less mana when you have 60... Oh, my, oh my lord, that's so good. Uh, Raging Axe Thrower. Armor Breaker. Attack supply minus armor to the target. Gain plus attack speed and move speed when HP is out. Now oh, that is nice. We are... Hmm. Hmm. Effects last until the end of battle. Draw which can exceed your hand size. Uh, I mean, you know, we'd be able to have quite a lot of extra cards there with the tactical overload. But I think I want you. Let's take you instead. There we go. Now, shop incoming. Good, good, good. I never want to live here, says the Chubat. I don't care if the other Chubats think it's comfortable. All the trees, all the bugs, like I want to eat bugs. Cut a path through this jungle, no matter what it takes. Get us to the other side. And my gourmet sushi. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, I uh, accidentally clicked through there a little bit faster than intended, but alright. This is the longer path, it seems, but this one is going to give you more um, exposure to this tower, which isn't so great. Now, at the moment, there is every reason for us to take as long as we can to build up our mana, to, to over 60 if we can. Oh, wow, you're really fast. That's worrisome. And uh, this group is going to be just as bad. Mm, okay, well, I'm going to need someone to hold this position for us. Well, and let's get you up. Go, go, go. There we are. Uh, we took a little bit of damage here, but it wasn't, wasn't the worst in the world. In fact, this looks okay. Now, you should be okay to approach for now. 
Let's wait until we got over 60, and then everything becomes so much cheaper. <laughs> My lord. So now it's the case that I want 90, really, to, to cast you. You cost nothing? That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. That means our basic skeletons cost nothing when we've got over 60. That is amazing. All of the skeletons, all of the time. Forever and ever and ever. Resourceful double cast, please. Okay, fortifying brutes. Let's get you. Two of you out, in fact. I know I just dropped it all, but it's fine. I don't mind. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I approve 100%. Uh, let's get you two over there so you can take that uh, area. That, that was honestly broken. The fact that it cost me nothing to cast those cards was just cra crazy sauce. Absolute crazy sauce. Uh, there we are. Everything costs a little bit less. Uh, though my uh, utility cards do not cost a little bit less. Interestingly. Let's get you into play. Um, I'm also going to drop this down on you. There you go. Uh, yes, let's get the uh, Raging Axe throws there. I'm going to want some of you to go this way. There we, are. we should have this one in the bag. There we go. And get you out. And uh, we should be okay, honestly. Our Archer Towers are doing a really good job. Yeah, that... that uh, that ability that once we got over 60 is just, it's obscene. Obscene. There we go. And I guess the Swift Demon Blaze, sure. We'll get two Swift Demon Blaze. They should be able to get to the fight before the fight's over. The very least. They're possibly the only ones that are going to be able to do that. Get all of these skeletons out there. And you as well. And you. Oh my lord, this is ridiculous. The way that built up. Oh my good lord. Yeah, see? Go for relics every time. Every time. Right, draft a card. What have we got? Um, Mana Regeneration. Uh, okay. Overdrawn. Well, what does Mana Regeneration do? Strong Tactical Overload. Well, yeah, sure, I'll take it. We'll see where it goes. Got a couple of souls. Some people call me a con artist, says Grimbone the Swindler. Me, I call myself an entrepreneur. I offer people an opportunity to swap the cards they've been dealt by fate. Want to swap your cards? You've come to the right skeleton. Uh, crippling Curse. Okay, that's not too bad, I suppose. What? I can't... Mm. I wouldn't mind some range units, actually. You and you. Sold, my good man. How big is my deck now? It's probably stupidly big. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, my deck is getting a little bit bloated. By a little bit bloated. I mean very bloated. Right, well, you know what? I was going to only make this uh, this first taste of episode like 30 minutes, but uh, it was doing so well. Let's, uh, let's continue on. And in fact, if you would like to see more of this in the future, then do let me know down in the comments or with a like on the video. It not only helps out the channel, but it does let me know which, uh, which first tastes may be eligible to become miniseries all their own. People call him a blacksmith, but he doesn't just forge armor. He also forges souls right into people's flesh. Almost like getting a tattoo if the tattoo blistered with the heat of a hundred suns. Ah, okay. Upgrade a squad or gain a relic. Screaming breastplate. I mean, I've already got this, but I wouldn't mind getting it twice. Would that... Hmm. Yes, let's get it twice. Can I have a tattoo? What a lovely breastplate. It's still screaming. Is it going to stop screaming when the souls congeal? That's good to know. How long will that take? About two millennia? Oh. I, I mean, I'm completely okay with this. We do want to increase our portal HP, though. That's getting a little bit worrisome. Exorcists have been known to leave booby traps for undead ghouls buried across the kingdom, like the one that just sprang up and snapped over your head. This one's an evil Eradicator 9000. There's no way you'll break free without sacrificing something. Uh... Ah, uh, sure. You release a large number of souls into the sky, the evil Eradicator 9000 starts whimpering and wagging its tail. Finally, it can't resist. It flies away after the souls, leaving you free on the ground. Oh. I'm kind of left with the desire to have kept it at this point. Damn it. Right, now we're going to upgrade a card. What can we upgrade is the question. I kind of want to know what this uh, this unit will do. Though the archers, maybe. Or the bomber, even. What about your details? You're an uncommon card. You do a lot of damage for... Is it, This must be one unit, then. Oh, okay. You're a little bit... Uh, flimsy. How about you? Let's have a look at you. What do we get? Vigilant Fletcher. 
you would get a better critical rate or swift Fletcher. You'd become faster. Huh. I'll be honest, neither one of these is particularly great. I'm going to be perfectly honest, but the, the range is nice. We'll go with the attack range for our ranged card. We'll play into its strengths. Okay, boss time. Let us see what we can do. Flurries, said Lord Balderdash, again, for hiding behind the text. That's what you have fought before. This time the battle will be a blizzard. You don't know what cold even means. I'll turn you into a walking ice cube. You'll wish you just had frostbite like I do. Uh... Yeah, I think I think I think you're really really trying too hard, dude. I just put some clothes on at least. Uh, right, let's have a look. It looks like a fairly standard attack path. Okay, once again, oh wow, uh, got to build up our our mana. Once we get it to that sixty, oh, everything is just amazing. There we go, massive bonuses, and I I'm really hoping. The screaming blast plate there. Did we not get a? Did we? It didn't stack. Maybe it didn't stack. That's a bit of a shame. But um, I'm going to use that. Does that massively benefit everything? I hope so. Let's get you. And the demon blade is all we have right now, which is not exactly ideal. But let's get over that 60 mark. There we go. All right, you're gone. And you were gone. Now we need to get up to uh, 90 if we can. Well, actually, we don't strictly. Let's get the Brutes out. Demon Blade are doing okay for themselves. Need a little bit more again. There we go. Well done. I'm going to drop a... Ah, I was going to drop a heal right on the head, but I missed. Uh, oh, well. Good to know that I can actually cast it without having a valid target. Uh, that does protect me a little bit from... Foolish mistakes in the future. Kind of a little tiny bit. Uh, let's get up to 80. There we go. Let's get you out. There we are. Now you should be able to take that fairly easily. So let's go this way. Let's grab this card in play. I would like double tough soldiers. I'm going to be honest. They're a more useful group for me right now. And once you get up there, I would like you to go in this direction. If you could be so kind. And let's get Demolishers on the boat. There we go. And straight away get you out there, because we're going to be over 60 very quickly. There we are. Now, we've got this one haunted, which is great. We just need to finish this one off. And then that one should start attacking people as they're exiting the castle, which will be glorious for us. Uh, let's get you out there. And you straight away. Let's get you out there to help out. We should be able to get uh, the soldiers out there fairly quickly with a regular skeleton. Oh, this is glorious. That relic is just just hopelessly overpowered. I, let's, let's be honest with ourselves. As much as it's great to be hopelessly overpowered, I do feel that that one needs a bit of balancing. Because this is just ridiculous. I'm just streaming units out like they, they don't even matter. This is just absolutely broken. Um, resourceful double cash. Sure, let's get that one in play. Again, <laughs> just right this guy. Let's go. Go, go, go. That's fine. Uh, let's get you out there. And there we are. <laughs> this is a wall of, of undead just heading straight towards uh, enemy's castle. And, and by wall, I don't mean line. I mean a wall. Like, you know, spiked walls traveling you at high velocity, ready to smush you up against the grate. Marvelous. But why are my teeth ch 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 chattering? Asks Lord Balderdash. I can't take this cold. I need wool mittens and a, 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 a thick scarf. Warmer underwear Ooh, wouldn't hurt either. M -m 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 maybe I should move to Al Nubi. Uh, okay. The journey ends. For now. But we have leveled up many times. And with that, we come to the end of the content that is currently in the Early Access. Now, Early Access has a roadmap, or rather a predicted roadmap, and a, a time scale uh, available with it, as with many games that released into Early Access on Steam, and the time scale is roughly six to eight months. They intend to have a 1.0 release out this year. 
The reasons for entering Early Access seem largely to be to be able to involve the community. As with any kind of card game like this, a lot is going to have to go into the balancing of the abilities, the balancing of the decks. As we saw there, I just seemed to stumble on a collection of artifacts that worked amazingly well together and pretty much stripped the game of any difficulty towards the end. I really, really think that uh, those, those abilities need a little bit of adjustment because one of the best ways that I could have built my deck once I got the ability to just spawn cards for 20 less mana once I had 60 is just fill my deck with the cheapest possible cards possible and just swarm the enemy with an unending stream of skeletons and other low cost units. It wouldn't matter that they couldn't do much by themselves if I had literally a tsunami of bones just hurtling towards them over time. So uh, the other things that they're looking to add throughout early access uh, incorporating player feedback balancing the game obviously adding some more features they do claim that the uh, the game has quite a lot of features and a lot of variability already in the one campaign that is there there are several units with a lot of semi-random uh, upgrades that can be applied to those units so that you should get quite a few hours worth of uh, of gameplay out of it um just through the the interesting combinations the procedural combinations that you would get also the map is procedurally generated but uh towards full release they intend to have at least three campaigns i i believe and uh three uh different commanders that you can play and they will be adjusting the roadmap based on player feedback as they go so if with all that said and done you are interested in checking out the game then do check the link down in the description below for where you can purchase it or just search for it on steam obviously and i do hope you've enjoyed let me know if you uh, do like these sorts of games in particular. That is, um, well, Tower Defense slash Tower Attack games. And I will consider checking out more in First States on the channel. And a like on the video goes a long way as well. But that is going to be it from me. So I hope you have enjoyed our First States coverage of Necronator Dead Wrong. And I hope to see you with whatever I cover next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.